This is Two Cities Church. My name is Jeff Struker, and I want to thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today. If you found our service for the first time, let me give you a very short bit of information about our church. We call ourselves Two Cities Church, not because we exist in Columbus, Georgia, and Phoenix City, Alabama. Those aren't the two cities that we're talking about. We call ourselves Two Cities Church because we are people that belong to the city of God. We have been born again and made new by the blood of Jesus Christ. That city is our ultimate resting place. But we also live here on earth in the city of man, and we're trying to be good citizens of that city and this city at the same time, of these two cities. So I want to thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today. We do a midweek broadcast that you're watching right now. We call it Lead Them Well. And you can see from the picture on the screen that this is a broadcast designed to help parents hand their faith off to their children. The subtitle is Family Bible Training. And the reason we call this Family Bible Training is we're going to dig into the Bible in just a second. We're going to ask you family to come around the tablet or the TV right now. And we're going to try to give you some tools, mom or dad, to help pass your faith off to your children. Now, each week we do this midweek broadcast and we also ask you to memorize a verse of the Bible. We ask you as an entire family, mom and dad, will you memorize it? Children, will you memorize it? And then we give you access to a closed Facebook group. The notes are down there in the post that you're watching this broadcast on. That closed Facebook group is designed for you to be able to record a video of you as a family or your children memorizing the verse and repeating it from memory, and then maybe upload that onto Facebook and share it with friends that live a long ways away, or share it with family that are halfway around the country or halfway around the world. Doesn't matter where you live, you can get connected with believers, you can get connected with your friends and family in this closed Facebook group. And you can share videos of your family memorizing a verse of the Bible together. Of course, this Facebook group is closed so that all of those creepers on the internet that are trying to look at your children won't have access to your children. But that uh, closed Facebook group and the, the information on how to get into that group is right down below me in the notes for this broadcast. Now, we do this broadcast each week to try to help the parents hand their faith off to their children. This is the idea of you helping your children take ownership of their own faith. And parents, you already know this. We can't twist our children's arms. We can't make them believe what we want them to believe but we can teach it to them in such a way that it makes sense to them. We can say it, we can show it in such a way that we're absolutely passionate about it. And I really believe, as the Holy Spirit inhabits your home, that your children will see what mom and dad believe, that they will start to understand what mom and dad believe, and one day what mom and dad believe will become what your children believe. That's the whole reason for this broadcast. That's why we call it Leading Them, because it's parents leading your children well. We're trying to help you parents explain who God is and what God is like in these broadcasts. And for the last several weeks, we've been asking parents to help their children understand what God expects of them, specifically in the Ten Commandments. So today... We're going to be in the Sixth Commandment. I, you see how I did that? It was the Sixth Commandment. I had to figure out how many fingers go on one hand. Today we're going to be in the Sixth Commandment. The Sixth Commandment is found in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. And I'm going to put it on the screens for you. I'm going to ask you to memorize this really long verse of the Bible. And then I'm going to ask you to recite where this is found in the Bible, repeat the verse out loud, and then one more time recite where this is found in the Bible, just so that later on when you go to remember this verse, you not only know what the verse says, but you know where it's found. 
this one is going to be super easy for you because this verse is three words long. Literally just three words in the English language for Exodus chapter 20 verse 13 for the sixth commandment. And it just so happens that we're doing the sixth commandment on Veterans Day, November 11th, 2020. This is Veterans Day in the United States. In fact, I'm standing in front of this painting so that I can illustrate the Sixth Commandment in just a second. So let me put the Sixth Commandment from Exodus 20, verse 13 on the screens for you. And then I want you to just grab the children, gather them around the tablet or the TV right now. I want you guys to just say where this is found in the Bible, repeat the verse with me, and say where it's found one more time in the Bible. You ready? Here we go. Exodus 20, 13. Do not murder. Exodus 20, verse 13. Okay, can we talk about the word murder? Because the next couple of commandments in Exodus 20 say, do not do this, do not do that, do not do this. The previous commandments we've heard are not to take the Lord's name in vain, to not have other gods before him, to do a couple of things, to honor God and to respect the Sabbath. And this one is now firmly about how God's people are supposed to relate to other people. But I need you to understand the word murder. In fact, if you have a Bible open in front of you, parents, and that Bible translation uses a different English word, I need you to just pause for a second and I need you to explain the word murder to your family. For a second. You see, some older translations, most of the new English translations, doesn't matter what it is, will use the word murder. But some of the older translations will use the word kill. It may say something like this, thou shalt not kill. And there's a real problem with the Bible translating this word into kill. You see, the original language word in the Hebrew language, that original language that the word was written in back in the Old Testament times, that word can be translated a couple of different ways. In fact, it's the word that you would use for somebody who died. It's the word that you would use when somebody accidentally caused another person to die. It's the word that you would use in our uh, court system for manslaughter. It's the word that you would use for kill. But almost half of the time that that word shows up in the Bible, it's the word for murder. And I really believe what God was saying was making a difference between killing and murder. Now you're hearing this from a veteran on Veterans Day. And in fact, this painting that you see on the wall behind me is an artist depiction of my role in the Battle of Mogadishu from the movie Black Hawk Down. If you see those Humvees in the corner of this painting, the artist painted me into this picture. And I was a guy who went to war and who fought on battlefields, and I was a very committed Christian. I'm not trying to glamorize war. I'm not trying to recruit your children into the ministry or into the military. But I am saying this, while I was a sergeant in the army, in the Ranger Regiment, I was also a very committed Christian. And I understood that there's a difference on the battlefield between murder and killing. Now that doesn't excuse everything that anybody does on a battlefield. It doesn't lump it all into the category of killing. But the Bible is making a distinction here. It's saying when you do something with hate in your heart and you really want that other person to die and you do something to make sure that that other person dies, even if you weren't the one who pulled the trigger, even if you weren't the one who was the direct result of their death, then you are guilty of murder. But there's a difference between really hating that person, really wanting them to die, 
being the reason why they die, and a simple warrior on the battlefield serving the country. So only God, in His timing, could arrange for us to be describing the Sixth Commandment on Veterans Day 2020 in the United States. But parents, I want you today to take this commandment a step further. Because although this is only three words, and it's really easy to memorize, in fact, you probably already memorized it just by hearing these three words, do not murder, from Exodus 20, verse 12, I want you to flip open in your Bible to the book of Matthew. I want you to go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 21, and I want you to tell your children what Jesus says about the heart. You see, the word murder really has something to do with what's going on in the heart. And what Jesus says in Matthew 5, 21 is if you hate your brother or another person and you really want them to die because of hatred in your heart, then even if you weren't the cause of their death, God already considers you guilty of murder. What this commandment is asking us to do is to respect human beings because we were all created in the image of God. It doesn't matter what their color of skin, it doesn't matter what their gender, it doesn't matter what country they live in. We're supposed to respect all people. But it also asks us to consider the desires and the hatred in our heart. And keep in mind that sometimes what happens in the human heart, even if you're not the reason why somebody died, because you hate somebody and you want them to die, God can see your heart. The courts in the United States can only see what your hands do, the actions that you do. But God can see your actions and your attitude. God can see your heart. So he knows in Matthew chapter 5 that hatred in your heart is already the step towards murder. Each week, we give children um, lessons to do. And today, we want to give your children a lesson to do. So we've got a lesson for your little ones. And then we've got a lesson for the older ones. And I want you to just gather the children around. And parents, I want you to do this lesson with them today. I want you to ask your little ones if there has been a time in their life where they're really mad at somebody, so mad at somebody that they wish that person would die. And then I want you to sit down for just a second. This is between you and them. And I want you to just explain from the book of Matthew chapter 5 and Exodus chapter 20 the difference between murder and killing and explain it about the intent of their heart, about the hatred that sometimes people can have in their heart. Explain it to them in these terms, will you? That when Cain was angry with his brother Abel, he got so angry, his hatred in his heart was so great that he picked up a rock and he killed his brother Abel. And then God says this to, the, to Cain as he's judging Cain. He says, Cain, sin, or I would add the word hatred, is crouching at your door and it wants to consume you. And Cain, you must control it. Because if you don't control that hatred, that hatred will control you. Every human being on the planet has to learn how to control their anger, sometimes has to learn how to control their hatred so that we don't break the sixth commandment, so that we don't physically murder somebody, or so that we don't do what Jesus describes in Matthew chapter 5, verse 21, so that we don't do it emotionally in our hearts. This is an exercise for you to do with your little ones, parents, but I've got an exercise for you teenagers to do. I want you to look at your friend's social media accounts. I don't need you to follow up with them. I don't need you to talk to them. But if you have a smartphone or a tablet, if your parents will allow you to get online in front of them, Will you go to your friend's social media accounts and will you look at the kind of words that your friends write about other people? 
Maybe it's somebody from the family. Maybe it's somebody from school. And I want you to look at their posts on social media about somebody else in light of Matthew chapter 5 and ask the question, does this post start to sound a little bit like what Jesus says is murder in your heart? This is just a simple exercise, but it's an exercise designed for you to be careful about your heart and for you to be careful, listen to me students, with the people that you hang around with, the kind of heart that the people you hang around with have. Today is Veterans Day. And if you have a moment today, would you stop and thank a veteran for serving our country, for helping to make us free? But even if you don't know a veteran, even if you don't have time to do that, will you pause for just a second and will you consider what Jesus is saying in Matthew chapter 5 and what the law and the Old Testament is saying in the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20 verse 13? I hope you have a great night tonight, and I'll see you in the same time, same place next week. God bless you.